in any patient under the influence of an anesthetic, whether in the dental chair, as a minor casualty, during a major operation, or during cardiac catheterization, heart action may fail at any time. What's the trouble? Has something gone wrong? The heart appears to have stopped. What would your reaction be? Injecting drugs or using stethoscope wastes precious seconds. Speed is vital, as in less than three minutes, anoxic brain damage will be complete. If irreversible changes are to be avoided, cardiac massage must be started within one minute. Three tasks must be carried out in this time. One, first 15 seconds, confirm the diagnosis, feel for the carotid pulse. Two, second 15 seconds, make sure that the airway is free and administer oxygen. Three, you have 30 seconds left in which to open the chest and expose the heart. In size at the fifth intercostal space, Push the ribs firmly apart to make the heart more accessible. Now massage the heart between the flat of your hands. The first 60 seconds are vital. So let us go back and see how these three maneuvers are carried out in practice. Within the first 15 seconds, make certain that the heart has rarely stopped. If you cannot feel the carotid pulse, or if blood pressure is no longer recorded, the diagnosis is confirmed. During the second 15 seconds, ensure that the airway is clear. Administer oxygen and check that no other gas is in use. Now prepare to open the chest. Feel for the fifth intercostal space and incise with any sharp instrument that is at hand. Absence of bleeding confirms your diagnosis. Make a second and deeper cut to divide the muscles and pleura. Spread the ribs firmly apart to make the heart more accessible. Then hold the heart between the flat of your hands and start cardiac massage at once. Wait for the ventricles to fill between each manual compression. The rate of massage will depend on the rate of filling. Take care to avoid rupturing the heart by undue pressure with fingertips or thumbs. Where there is limited access, compress the heart between one hand and the back of the sternum. At this stage, the trachea can be intubated at leisure so that the lungs can be controlled in the open chest. Now that oxygenated blood is steadily going to the brain, you have more time to plan the next step. If the heart has not responded with regular contractions, a more detailed examination will be necessary. Ask for rib spreaders, scissors, swabs and long hemostats, adrenaline, and the defibrillator. Continued massage gives you time to change to a more adequate and aseptic technique. Now, open the pericardium for a closer examination of the heart. You will find one of two possible conditions. If the heart is distended, blue, toneless, and without movement, this is asystolic arrest. Unless it is gravely diseased, such a heart will respond to continued massage and adequate oxygenation.
Alternatively, you may find a small heart with rapid fibrillary movements. It may be pink. It has fair tone and feels like a quivering bag of worms. This is ventricular fibrillation. Continue massage at once to restore good myocardial tone and then defibrillate. If after several minutes tone has not returned, administer a stimulant before defibrillating. 10 cc of adrenaline, 1 in 10,000 are injected into the left atrium. In the meantime, the defibrillator is assembled. Give a very brief shock of between 150 and 250 volts, depending on the size of the heart. Should this fail, continue massage and repeat with one more shock. It may be necessary to use two or three quick shocks. Ensure firm contact across the ventricles. The initial arrest of the heart is abruptly followed by a resumption of normal rhythm. When the circulation has been re-established and is maintained, arrest hemorrhage, clean up and close the wound. You have seen how cardiac arrest can be treated successfully. Speed is vital, as anoxic brain damage will be complete in less than three minutes. Therefore, do not take more than 15 seconds to confirm that the heart has really stopped. During the next 15 seconds, ensure free entry of air to the lungs. Open the chest with any sharp instrument that is at hand and massage the heart between the flat of your hands. In this way, almost all hearts can be restored to a normal rhythm.